Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to our Terra Genesis playthrough here with Earth episode 3 with the series. You can see here if we look at the planet, it's uh, missing something and that something is a lot of biomass. It's not a green, not a green planet anymore. So it's not good. And we've got to make an effort to somehow turn this around before it gets really bad. So let's go ahead and back back out of here. We've got two more culture points. We can't spend them yet because I've had the planet pause still. No, I haven't actually unpaused it since the last episode. But we're going to unpause it now and let things keep going. Lots of things here going extinct. It's primarily because of our oxygen issues. If we actually take a look, losing all of that oxygen is super disrupting or gaining all that oxygen is disrupting our our uh, area by a lot. I mean, this actually isn't that bad. Temperature is going up a little bit, plus two. That was just because we lost that one upgrade. I can actually turn it around. So let's uh, just, oh, four minutes away. I don't know if I want to spend the Genesis point for four minutes. Let's let that go. Meanwhile, the next thing is trying to get research that's going to slow down oxygen, which is no way that we're going to get this quick enough. But we'll go ahead and get the research anyways and uh, spend the six Genesis points to hurry that. You might remember our outposts last time. They're still doing pretty good. So I actually did a bunch of stuff off camera. And if we look at our money right now, it should be almost in the positives. It's very, very close. It's only negative 785 credits. We're going to lose most of the Earth's population probably before we turn it around. In fact, I think almost everybody here is going to die. Uh, it usually is possible to build domes to try and prevent a lot of it, but that costs pretty good money, actually. Cancel. We can get HAB units, but HAB domes, they actually house a lot of the population. It's going to increase oxygen and water. We have no way to cancel these out, and it's going to cost a lot. Working day and night to improve their operation. Level 3 mine has been upgraded to a level... Oh, nice. Okay, so if we actually take a look now, it should be in the positives. Well, it's close. If we upgrade one or two more of the mines, we'll probably get there. Um... We'll upgrade that one and that one. There. So at least now we're making money instead of losing it. Now it's just going to be turning everything else around. <laughs> Barely making any money, but we're at least not losing money. We still got 14 Genesis points. I'll end up probably watching a few more things and stuff to get, get us uh, some more Genesis points and unlock some more. I think it's going to come in handy. Um, okay, let's go ahead and put, let's see, let me look, let's look at elevation real quick. Um, can I look at elevation? I really want to look at elevation. Because we need to see... Oh, is there no way to look at it without being... I almost thought that you could look at that here. I need to see what cities are not going to go underwater when the water table starts rising. And it is rising. This will be really close to canceling out though. So the water should stop going up. It's going to be oxygen is going to be the big one. Plus 38. Plus 38. I guess we'll stick to North America. If 
we can get O2 filters. We need 250,000 credits. So we're going to have to spend some more of our Genesis points to get some more. At least for now. So now if we jump into North America, we can go ahead and get some of these O2 filters built. And this has 30 seconds. All right. We need a lot of O2 filters and we need to upgrade them. So we're probably going to have to build four of these and then upgrade all of them. Actually, we technically would need to build five of them. Oh, that's a cooling plant. So cancel that. And get another O2 filter. Yeah, so they'll all need to be upgraded, but they'll be done in about 30 minutes. A lot of damage can be done in 30 minutes. So, like I said before, um, and I'll mention it again, it's not about being able to save Earth in its, in its uh, current state. You can't save Earth in its current state. It's going to go backwards. You're going to lose all the plants, most of the wildlife, most of the population. It's very hard to maintain it. The goal, though, is to try and preserve as much of it as possible and then turn around and try to rebuild it. That's the entire goal. So you can even see the water levels actually rising, although they should have slowed down now. Yep, so without global warming, they've now slowed down again. That puts us at 287,357. We can manage that. Could actually probably lower to get a bit. Pressure's fine. So now it's just it's strictly oxygen that's killing us. It's trying to get this. Just this 1,000 offset here is what actually, actually ruined us for oxygen. But hopefully we can turn it around. Maintenance-wise, we're back down pretty low. It's because we're building uh, these buildings here as well. Hopefully we'll get a couple... Uh, random events here as well. I got to get these in the positive. Um, we le at least have to have some income coming in. I've got 213,000 credits. I could probably upgrade some more of these. And spend some of our credits. There, that'll definitely get us in the positives. Spends most of our money, but. And they're going to deplete faster, but that don't matter. This is going, this is actually going quicker and quicker. But now we're going to be making money. Only 2,000, but it's better than losing it. So what am I going to spend my money on next? Ooh, this is good. This is good. So we got a new genetic park here. It's essentially just making a jab at Jurassic Park. But you do get a bonus for that. Let's look at it. You should get some uh, like bonus income, actually, for having that random event. Yep, so that's given us 5,000 credits. So now we're plus 4,297. Sweet. So what we'll probably end up doing then, let me take a look here. Plague outbreak, wow. So we're actually going to be losing population here in some of these areas. School funding crisis, these places. So what we're going to end up doing is saving up as much money as we can. These are going to be constructed in about 26 minutes. We'll let them get uh, finished. And then once they're completely finished, they're going to all need to be upgraded to try to stop oxygen as fast as possible. The, um, s the faster we can slow down oxygen spreading, the more we can probably save of the planet, including the population of the wildlife. Now, I don't think we're going to turn it around completely. But uh, we can save as much as possible. It's going to make rebuilding the planet a lot easier for every little bit that we save. So that's what it's going to be all about. But uh, we don't really have anything else to do, so we'll go ahead and leave it off here. A little bit shorter of an episode, and then we'll 
We'll uh, definitely jump in and see where it's got us in a couple years. I'm going to let the game run in the background for a while and uh, I'll slowly babysit it and then we'll come back in and start making some more decisions. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.